Hi, my name is Becky from GTEC and today I'll be going through the Airram Mark II and the Mark II K9. This video will be broken into various different sections so that you can just jump straight to the demonstration that you need. Let's get started. If the Airram is purchased as a standalone product and not as part of the system, then you will need to assemble both the upper and the lower handles. Make sure that they have clicked into place. Please note that once they have been connected, they cannot be disassembled. Unlock the locking clip on the main base. Then insert the metal pin from the lower handle into the base before securing the locking clip again. Insert the upper handle into the lower handle and it will click into place. To raise the upper handle, push in the lower button and feel it click into place. To lower the upper handle, push in the top button and feel it click into place again. Insert the battery by sliding it into the housing and feeling it click into place. Push the on-off button to start. Four red lights will illuminate if the brush bar is jammed. Clear the obstruction and wait 10 seconds for the machine to reset. The battery needs recharging when one green light flashes. The battery can be charged on or off the machine. To remove the battery, squeeze it and pull it upwards. Plug the charger into the charging port on the battery and then plug into the mains. Charge the battery for four hours and all four lights will illuminate green when it's fully charged. Make sure you remove the battery before carrying out any maintenance. To remove the bin, grab hold of the handles on the top of the bin and then remove it from the chassis. Hold it over a bin and unclip the bin lid. Slide the ejector arm to release the dirt and then return it to the original position. Then clip the bin lid closed. To replace the bin, line it up with the chassis and push into place. Remove the battery before carrying out any maintenance. Lie the machine on its back to expose the brush bar and firmly press the brush bar release button to unlock and pull the brush bar out of the chassis. Use either a pair of scissors or the hair removal tool to remove any threads or hair from the brush bar. The spindle is located inside the brush bar housing. Check to make sure there isn't a buildup of hair or threads. Refit the battery and turn the machine on. The spindle should move freely. Remove the battery and then refit the brush bar. Ensure the bin and battery are removed, see earlier clips if needed, and then pull down on the black tab and remove the filter. Tap the filter to remove any dirt or debris. Pull and separate the filter from the shroud, and then tap to remove the dirt from the shroud and wipe with a clean dry cloth. You can wash the filter with warm water, just make sure it's fully dry before you refit it. Make sure you remove the battery before carrying out any maintenance. The red lint strips are located by the brush bar on the chassis, here and here. Remove the damaged lint strip and clean any residue with a dry cloth. Do not use water or solution. Remove the backing from the new lint strip and line it up and then press it down. Remove the battery and the brush bar. Refer to earlier sections if needed. Firmly pull the damaged airlock visor from the chassis, unclipping the metal rods from both ends. This can be quite tricky, so it helps to bend it to a 90 degree angle. Line up the tabs on the new airlock visor with the front of the chassis. Then push firmly upwards into the chassis until it clicks into place. Make sure both ends of the metal rod are clipped into place. This is for the K9 only. Firstly, remove the battery bin and the filter and then remove the centered tab like this. To replace the centered tab, remove it from the packaging and fit it into the narrow end of the shroud. This demo is only for the Airams with the model numbers AR29 and AR30. 
First remove the battery and the handle. Use the Allen key from the pivot yoke kit to remove the four screws on the chassis. Turn the chassis upright and then remove the pivot yoke cover and the pivot yoke. Replace the pivot yoke with the green clip facing downwards and then refit the pivot yoke cover. Then turn the chassis upside down holding the pivot yoke and the pivot yoke cover in place and replace the screws. Then use the Allen key from the pivot yoke kit to tighten the screws again. Refit the handle and the pivot yoke can then be levered into the upright position. Remove the battery from the machine and then lie on its side. Shake the chassis to make sure there's no debris in the wheel bearing. Separate the locking cap from the replacement wheel. Line up the logs on the replacement wheel with the bearing and then push firmly into place. Then line up the clips on the locking cap and click into place. If you need any more information, please visit our website.